Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the new features in the iOS 18 calculator app. So let's get into it. With iOS 18, Apple added a lot of new things to the calculator and it all kind of starts off with just the overall basic usage. So let's say if we do 10 plus eight, you can actually now see the full expression, whereas in iOS 17, you weren't able to. And now if I click equals, you can still see the previous expression and you also see your answer. You can also just tap on it to edit it. You may also notice that we now also have a back button. So I can now back up if I made a mistake and then continue off my equation. So that's all nice, but the calculator gets even better because we also have this new button, which allows us to access these new settings. So we now also have a portrait scientific calculator. So now you can do more complex math and it will be able to handle it perfectly fine. So let me show you an example using parentheses so you can see that the um, calculator is now smarter in the way it handles this. So if we do this, let's do an equation here. And then we're gonna just add another number. And you can see that the iPhone automatically adds a multiplication symbol because it knows that we're gonna be multiplying our constant, which is three. If we click equals, then we get our answer and we can still see the expression we did before. So overall, the calculator in iOS 18 is a lot smarter and can handle more complex equations. I've done plenty of testing with multiple types of math and it's done well every single time. I'd also like to mention that we now have a calculator history panel. You just tap in the top left and you will see all the calculations you've previously done. And if you click edit here, you can just click delete all and your whole calculator history will be deleted. Next up is that we can now do conversions straight into the calculator. So if we click convert, you can now choose from a variety of different currencies, data, and energy units. So you can convert just about anything you want. For this example, we have US dollars and Mexican pesos. So if I just type 56 and it will automatically just convert it. And you can also do it vice versa. So if you want to do um, a certain amount of money in Mexican pesos and see how much it would be in um, US dollars, you can also do that by just clicking this button right here. Next up, we now have math notes. So this is a completely new thing. This is gonna be more convenient on the iPad, but it is nice that we still have it on the iPhone. So we're gonna start a brand new note. And one of the things we can do is we can now just do write out what we want to do. So I want to do, let's say 12 plus um, three. It will automatically solve it before I even finish. So we can also even just write out our math. So let's say I just want to do one plus two equals and they'll automatically solve it and put the answer in our own handwriting. This is pretty cool. And with the iPad, you can do this with the Apple Pencil and it's a lot more convenient, but it's still nice that the iPhone does have this. So you can just write out your math and your iPhone just solves it for you. So it's pretty nice to see. And that's what's new with the iOS 18 calculator app. Hope you guys found that video useful. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.